Hi guys and welcome to Paul's DIY. It's Friday evening, it's been a long week at work this week and I've managed to catch my daughter's cold and I can see the bags under my eyes uh, in the video so yeah, I look like crap but we're going to soldier on and uh, get down to the topics that I want to go through in this uh, channel update. Hi guys, so as I mentioned it's Friday evening so I'm going to enjoy a couple of cans of lager tonight but first I just wanted to get this video out onto my YouTube channel. First of all I just want to give a shout out, a special shout out to uh, J.I. Gavin who actually private messaged me on Facebook asking if <laughs> asking if I was okay because it, had, it has been a month uh, since I last posted a video and yes yeah, I am absolutely fine. Guys if you're worried don't worry, I'm fine. It's just uh, I do have a full-time job Monday to Friday and I have my daughter as well obviously who's now eight months old. So a lot of my time is, is taken up with work and obviously my daughter. But it doesn't mean that I forgot about you guys. I recently went to my local toy shop because you know I'm 32 years old and I still like going to toy shops. And I came across this guy. So as, I, as you've seen in the uh, thumbnail possible spoilers for Justice League so not so much spoilers for the Batman uh, because there are uh, figures already released of uh, the suit he's wearing and obviously he's in the trailers it's more for Steppenwolf as you can see there he's only been shown in the trailers very very briefly but uh, this is if he's going to be looking like this figure uh, then you know this is a very good look at what is going to be in the movie. So let's open this big bad boy up. Okay, the dreaded Stanley knife. Very careful. So I'll just quickly show you the back as well. So I'm going to be doing a customizing these two figures. Uh, not so much on the figures themselves. I'm going to be doing the usual giving him a, a new cape and doing a bit of shading with some uh, black wash same on Steppenwolf I, the main thing I'm going to be doing on this custom is a custom base I had so much fun on my uh, Batman Noel doing the base for that uh, so I'm going to be doing the majority of the custom on the base so here he is out of the box and I need to do get these tiles off I hate these things be too hard with a Stanley knife. Okay, guys, first we've got the Justice League Batman. The goggles or glasses are fixed onto the cowl, as you can see. And if we compare him to my Nightmare Batman, now this actually originally started off as just a normal Batman from Batman v Superman that I've customised into Nightmare Batman but if you see there they are exactly the same height, 12 inches and I just customised this one into the Nightmare Batman this original I would say was a lot lighter before I used shoe polish and had a cape so as I mentioned I will be replacing the cape and if I just zoom in on that, the details actually not that bad So as I mentioned, um, the majority of this custom is going to be on the base. Now my thinking is as well that the scale isn't correct on this because I have a feeling that Steppenwolf in the film is going to be a lot taller than this. He's going to be a giant compared to Batman, um, but obviously there's nothing I can do about that. Just wanted to quickly mention as well the helmet comes off, so you can have him with or without the helmet. So yeah, as I mentioned, these these two are going to be my next custom, and I'm going to be using reference photos from the promotional photo from Batman v Superman, uh, where it had the two in Metropolis uh, fighting against each other. 
I'm going to be taking like inspiration from uh, Dragon Ball Z as well, uh, from like the creators they create when they power up and stuff like that. So it's going to be uh, basically going to be pretty much like a crater with these two in the center facing each other. Uh, not so much like a post-apocalyptic, but pretty much like uh, it was with Batman v Superman in the city with rubble and everything around them. Also, I've had this guy sat on my shelf for a while now. I took the cape off because I wasn't happy with how it was and I was originally going to replace it but I didn't end up doing it and this has just been sat on my shelf now as is for quite a while. And now that I have this for reference, I'm going to see if I can change this Batman from Batman v Superman into the Batman from Justice League. Give it, giving him all the upgrades of the foam and stuff like that. You'll be using foam board or three mil board, uh, foam to do all the shoulder pads and stuff like that, and the different bits on his chest and stuff. And uh, just see what I can do with this recycling a custom. I also have this guy. Now you're probably thinking, hold on, didn't he already customize this into the Batman Noel? I did. I just went out and bought another one. <laughs> Uh, I've um, been looking online and uh, I've come across the uh, Thomas Wayne Batman from the Flashpoint uh, animated movie and I thought I'd be able to do something with this and customise it into the Flashpoint with the points on his shoulders so this is going to be, I'm going to be customising this into the Flashpoint uh, Thomas Wayne Batman and then finally we have the Joker that I'm going to be using inspiration from again the Prime One Joker, uh, Prime One Studios Joker, where he's on the staircase that goes up, bends round, and uh, he's got the gun. Now this is actually a Walking Dead revolver keychain that I've repurposed. This was on my keys for quite a while, as you can see there. In short, there, yeah, there, that, there's where it attaches to your keys and what I've done is I've cut out so far on this custom I've cut out the centre of his hand and placed the gun inside it so that's that so far I will be doing the base and uh, that'll be the next one where he'll be on the top step again with the leg bent this one's going to be slightly harder because again if I zoom in you can see that it's got detail lining and like the pleats on his trousers so once I cut this out probably cut the leg off again reposition it and then using possibly moulding clay I'll use and uh, I'll score in the pleats to match it all up unfortunately this time I haven't got a knee pad uh, to uh, cover up the join like I did with Batman Noel but that's the uh, other one Gonna be looking, making him look a little less shiny as well. I'm gonna hopefully get rid of these terrible eyebrows. Hopefully they'll, they'll wash off, or I, I might just have to paint his face white again. But yep, yeah, they're the upcoming customs, guys. As I mentioned, I try to upload as often as I can. Um, but if you follow me on Instagram, I do do regular update photos of my customs on there as well. So as I mentioned, that's all the custom figures that I'm working on at the moment. What I haven't done for quite a bit now is uh, some cosplay stuff and I'd like to get back into that and as I mentioned in a couple of videos back I was working on my Batman v Super, Batman v Super, Batman v Superman uh, armoured Batman suit. I have the body now to work it, uh, to put it on and work it on. You've all seen that the helmet's now finished, just need to stick some lights in there but uh, I will be working on eventually getting this finished, the whole suit that'll fit my body so I can wear it. Also on top of all those customs and cosplay projects I, I also have on my channel like DIY projects built. I've done a few uh, lamp, bedside lamps in the past and stuff like that. Uh, I also love doing gardening and I, I recently came across uh, a project on, uh, on a website where they used a big plastic bottle and stuck pebbles around it and made it look into uh, like a little house for like a, a garden feature. So I decided to go out to my local garden centre and buy a couple of bags of pebbles and I'm going to be attempting to make a little, I think they call it like a little fairy house. That's a little feature at the bottom of my uh, back garden. 
And the final update is the fact that I've recently just started having guitar lessons. I've had this electric guitar sat in my office, it's been up in my attic as well, just gathering dust over the last couple of years. And I thought it was about time that I actually decided to learn. I did do a few lessons when I was in high school and it never stuck, but now that I'm a bit older, obviously, and I have the attention span to actually go through with it, I am now taking guitar lessons. Don't worry, I won't be doing anything anytime soon. I'm only just practicing how to do my picking, but hopefully in five weeks to six weeks time, I will be able to play a complete song and I may even upload it onto YouTube. Uh, the course I'm currently doing is a beginner's five week course and hopefully by the end of it I'll be able to play you a little tune. So guys, as I mentioned, I'm still here, I'm still doing projects, I'm still uploading videos. Please check out my Instagram because I'm using Instagram as a, a bridge between the gaps between videos. So instead of uploading like part one, part two, part three videos of the uh, of the pro, pro of the progress of uh, the uh, projects and the customs, I just upload uh, update the uh, pictures on Instagram. Can't get me words out. So guys, yeah, I've, I've noticed as well that uh, I've gained a few a few more subscribers. I've recently just checked my analytic. <laughs> I've recently just checked my analytics on. Uh, YouTube and from the beginning of this YouTube channel starting I've actually earned £36.48 and p so I'm really not making any money off this uh, channel this is purely my hobby I enjoy doing it love the comments that you leave on my uh, videos as well good and bad you know can't please everyone but guys there will be more videos coming please like and subscribe hit that like button as well if you don't mind you know, I do like seeing a, a couple of likes every now and again and yeah, have a good one, enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you for the next video. Cheers.